Uh, well, well, it's Monday on Gasworthis.com, which means only one thing. It's Europe Day. Every Monday at Gasworthis.com, we have a look at the weather for the coming week across the continent, and today is no exception. Now, before I get on with the video, I've got to mention the advertising. There's video ads on my pages at Gasworthis.com. If you press play on the video ad, you'll be supporting Gasworthis.com. And uh, thanks very much for doing that. Uh, also, I've got to say, the reason I'm not appearing on the camera today, this morning, is uh, that I've got bad eyes. I'm doing the video on Sunday night. I've got rather sore eyes, so uh, I'm giving the camera a bit of a rest. Hopefully you can hear me okay uh, through the microphone. And the charts we're using for the video are coming from a fantastic German website called wettercentral.ding. Find the link to that on my links page. So this is the uh, situation today across uh, Europe. We've got this trough up over Scandinavia and western parts of Russia that will be producing uh, some outbreaks of snow. We've got quite a mild ridge there sitting across central parts of Europe. And we've got this more unsettled weather uh, coming into west with this area of low pressure. Now I don't think we should see the flooding rains across the British Isles uh, that we had last week. We've had pretty much of this winter uh, in the coming week. But there will still be some rain at times as areas of low pressure uh, moving off the Atlantic. This is today's upper air temperature, showing that we've got really quite a mild day across many western uh, parts of Europe, through British Isles, Ireland, down into France, Spain and Portugal. Very mild indeed. It's cooler to the east, but it's not particularly cold anywhere across the continent, continent even Scandinavia and western Russia, uh, under that trough of low pressure, really very mild uh, for the time of year. But dew point showing where uh, there is potential for snow and frost show, but central eastern parts of Europe has got quite cold dew points, as has Scandinavia. Navia. But in the west it really is uh, very, very mild. Uh, we've got rain coming in across Ireland and Britain today, just heading into northwestern parts of France. And quite heavy rain stretching down in towards Portugal as well. But a big drier area and about ridge of high pressure from Spain uh, up towards Poland. Yep, lots of dry conditions there. And then as we go further northeast into Scandinavia, western parts of Russia, we do run in some outbreaks of snow. But most of that is going to be uh, light and patchy. Temperatures today, but well, it's pretty mild across most of Europe, to be honest. Uh, going to be above average, particularly in the west. Very mild through uh, France and down in Spain and Portugal. Uh, a taste of spring there. Quite mild for Ireland and Britain as well. Further east, temperatures are above average. It's chilly, of course, because it's still winter, but uh, well above where we should be. And even going up to the northeast of Europe, we're going to be uh, above freezing quite generally. As we go into the middle of the week, this next area of low pressure will be developing in the Atlantic. That will be heading in uh, later, <coughs> later on in the week. Uh, the rest of the continent, though, sort of a flabby mess, really. Uh, generally high pressure is dominating, but we've still got some low pressure up over Scandinavia and western parts of Russia. The uh, upper air temperature showed it's very mild scene uh, for most of Europe. Again, the coldest air over Scandinavia and western Russia, but really not particularly cold. Although the dew points have turned colder through parts of northern Sweden and down in towards Norway, so some hard frost could be possible midweek. But uh, generally, most of Europe actually above freezing with the dew points through middle of week, so it will be mild. Uh, during that period. A lot of dry weather, some uh, snow sh uh, possible over the Alps, but really lots of dry conditions. Again, stretch from Portugal through Spain, France, Germany. Will be patchy, bits and pieces of rain around in places, but not really amounting to too much. And then more significant uh, rain, sleet and snow around the Baltic and southern parts of Scandinavia. And then snow, light snow, as we go up to western and northern parts of Scandinavia. Mostly dry in the east and the southeast of Europe as well. Uh, mid week and very mild for most of Europe again uh, through the middle of the week. That's part of the week shows low pressure coming in on Friday from the Atlantic in towards uh, Scandinavia. That could bring some slightly colder air uh, with it. But still really the idea is that high pressure is reaching through many central and western parts of Europe and also going down into the southeast as well. Possibly some sort of low pressure kicking off over Italy. But really the unsettled conditions uh, will be in the north. That's where the coldest conditions will be as well. Cold over Scandinavia by the end of the week or certainly turning colder over Scandinavia also pushing down into western parts of Russia as well. A little bit colder through uh, Germany and uh, perhaps in towards the low countries and Denmark as well uh, midweek. But uh, to be honest, it's not desperately cold. It's quite mild through the Mediterranean and going into the southeast of Europe. A little bit colder for uh, Scotland and northern England as well. Dew point show, but it's quite cold over Scandinavia by the end of the week. 
and uh, stretching down into Western Russia. And generally, it's a little bit colder elsewhere. But I do have to emphasise, we're talking about uh, not particularly cold weather, uh, to be honest, for the time of year. We've got snow over Scandinavia, uh, with rain, sleet and snow stretched out through these central areas. And generally, quite wet down into the southeast. There could be some showers and uh, longer spells of rain breaking out through the Adriatic and down in towards uh, the low countries uh, in towards uh, Greece and Turkey I should say uh, the uh, temperatures well maybe dipping a little bit below freezing across Scandinavia and western Russia at the end of the week but still not really particularly cold for the time of year and elsewhere it's a little bit cooler temperatures do drop by a few degrees but still generally not particularly cold it's very mild through the Mediterranean and going into the southeast of Europe as well uh, next weekend shows high pressure through many of these central parts of Europe. Low pressure is back into west, probably bringing some quite heavy rain in towards the uh, British Isles and maybe in towards western parts of France as well. Dew points show that the coldest air will be stretched down from the Scandinavia going into the east of the northeast of Europe. It's quite mild in central and western areas. Uh, as for your prayer temperatures, the dew points again confirming that, that the coldest air is in the north and the east, not uh, particularly cold out in the west. We've got rain coming back in towards Ireland, British Isles, also stretch down in towards uh, Portugal as well. Then it's drier through much of Spain and France, Germany also. And then up to the northeast uh, we have these outbreaks of the uh, rain, sleet and snow, mainly snow over Scandinavia and western Russia. A um, little bit cool across much of the continent by the end of the week. It's turned cooler down in the southeast of Europe as well, across that very mild air. But the coldest air is still over Scandinavia and western Russia and still not severely cold, just colder than earlier in the week but generally it's mild in the west a little bit cooler uh, in central east areas but at nowhere really desperately cold so uh, in summary for the coming week across europe i think we're looking at generally quite a mild week we'll turn a little bit colder later in the week but uh, we're only talking about uh, edging back to perhaps towards average uh, certainly nothing really cold coming up always mildest in the west there will be some rain coming in off the atlantic at times but not the severe storms and flooding rains in the west of europe uh, that we've had to contend with through much of this winter that's it for now thanks for watching